Thanks, Peter. By the way, I just want to say I, I didn't realize there was going to be so many TV cameras today. If I would have known that, I probably would have started my diet about four months ago. <laughs> now, the only thing that this next gentleman has not done during his career, and it's been over 50 years in the NBA, is book an opening act at a new sports and entertainment arena, but now he has done that. So let's introduce the man who's done everything in his Hall of Fame career, Warriors President and Chief Operating Officer Rick Welts. What a day. You know, every time we schedule uh, an event around this arena, we get a day like this. So we ought to be in charge of the weather in San Francisco. Uh, <laughs> Mayor Breed, thank you for being here today. I, I knew we'd take a shot on Beyonce, but at least you didn't uh, mention your favorite NBA player, LeBron James. Right? <laughs> All right? um, but we do, uh, we do thank you uh, for that focus. You have taken it upon yourself to make sure every city department is laser focused on successful opening for Chase Center. So thanks for being here today, but thanks for what you're doing every day. Uh, we can't have an event that even addresses Chase Center without uh, also remembering uh, the late Mayor Ed Lee. Uh, seven years ago, we were sit standing out on uh, Piers 3032, uh, accepting Mayor Lee's invitation to bring the Warriors back to San Francisco. Uh, Mayor Lee won't be with us when we cut that ribbon, but without his inspiration, uh, without his guidance, uh, we wouldn't be sitting here today. So thank you, Mayor Lee. <laughs> Got to give a shout out to uh, Warriors ownership, Joe Lega, Peter Gruber. We have some other of our, uh, of our ownership group here today. Uh, there's only one word for them, it's fearless. Who in the world would be crazy enough to build uh, a world-class sports and entertainment arena f privately financed in the city of San Francisco, right? Nobody would do that, all right? Uh, uh, you met Joe, you, you won't meet Peter today. We got a text over the weekend of Peter standing in front of the Taj Mahal at sunrise. Uh, I think right about now, uh, he's approaching base camp at Mount Everest. So basically, it's a typical Monday morning for Peter Gruber. <laughs> I want to welcome uh, our naming rights partner, J.P. Morgan Chase. Uh, the building behind us is going to be known as the Chase Center for at least the next 20 years, and your partnership is extraordinary. I want to also welcome our other founding partners for Chase Center, as well as our other partners who have made unbelievable contributions to make today just possible. Uh, a special shout out to the 1,400 men and women who come to work here every day to build with their two hands. Chase Center under the direction of Mortensen Clark. It's one of the most inspiring parts of this project to go and talk to the workers who come to work here every day who have such pride in what they're, what they're doing here and what they're creating for generations to come. I want to thank uh, two uh, very prominent Bay Area concert promoters who've been big supporters uh, of this project from day one. Uh, from Live Nation, Bob Rue, Jody Goodman, and Matt Prieshoff. And I'd also like to thank uh, Greg Perloff and Cherry Wasserman for being here, uh, part of another Planet Entertainment. They're going to be bringing amazing events to this <laughs> So Joe talked about the process. San Francisco kind of equals process. I think they're synonymous. Uh, so there are a couple ways we could approach it. And the direction from Joe and Peter from day one was we were going to embrace this process. And uh, here we are today, six months from opening Chase Center, and I can tell you there are way too many people to thank. Thousands of people, virtually everyone in city government has touched this project. Uh, private citizens who participated in community meetings. Uh, it's been an unbelievable outpouring of help for us. A few criticisms as well, but we've learned from that. And I think, as is the case usually in San Francisco, the result is a better project, and one that we're going to be incredibly proud to open. There are three in particular I do need to thank. Uh, first, it's UCSF, our neighbor across the street. Uh, UCSF and Chancellor Hoggood have been great partners and helped guide us through this process. Uh, the Mission Bay Citizens Advisory Committee, our chair, Corinne Woods, uh, they've been with us every step of the way from the very first public meeting till today. And uh, OCII, our executive director, Nadia Sasse, is here with us today. Uh, 
I think all of you may have spent more time with us than your family over the last four years, uh, but we thank you for everything you continue to do. So here we are, it's the first day of Reveal Week, and Reveal Week is going to give you just a peek at the types of acts that will be gracing uh, Chase Center in our first year of operation. Uh, today's announcement, must see acts this week, but it's just the beginning. You're gonna see much, much more. This is gonna be a weekly event, and Beyonce may not have made the first week, but I'm guessing sometime, Eric, in the next year, she'll be, uh, she'll be uh, uh, making her appearance here. Today, we're here to answer the question that we have probably been asked more than any other over the last few months. What will the first concert in Chase Center be? We wanted to do something that would be unique to the Bay Area, something that would only happen here and nowhere else in the world. So with that drum roll, <laughs> right on cue, here we go. 20 years ago, there was a historic collaboration between two iconic forces in music. There was an album recorded over two days in Berkeley, right across the bay, in April of 1999. That album went on to win the Grammy that year for Best Rock Instrumental Performance. We're proud to announce that on Friday evening, September 6, 2019, the first ever concert at Chase Center will be Metallica and the San Francisco Symphony. San Francisco Symphony will reunite and perform together with a special